Hello, welcome to the painting with commentary for the Nozler's Marvelous Miniatures Diving Gripisode. What? Gripisode? Diving Griffin from Paint to Life episode 43. This is the Diving Griffin miniature, which looks pretty cool. It's pretty basic, and we're going to try and do a little more than meets the eye. So right away, putting some ungore flesh down as my base coat. Something I did off camera, and I do sometimes, is I filled some of the seams and the cracks with some liquid green stuff. That's what that green is on his back there. So at this point, I'm using the ungore uh, color to give the lion part of the griffin its lion-esque kind of look and feel to it <clears throat> and I'm also using a towel light ochre as a, a secondary color to give a little bit of uh, depth to the two colors stacked on top of themselves and I've wet blended that together um, so when it dries it's a little more one than one-dimensional now I'm going to be basing the wings with the Bane blade brown no, these are just base colors, so when this process is done, this griffin is going to look very one-dimensional with all the with the two colors, so um, like I said, the, the lion part where I have the two colors, I'll add the second one later. I just inserted it at this point of the video because I think I painted it off camera. Um, so we're going to bane blade brown all of the feathers. This is the lightest of the browns that I wanted to use for like the down of the feather, and as I build up the feathers more, this might show underneath, might still show, or it might get completely covered, but at least it's the base for all of the feathers, so any of it that does show through will be consistent throughout the griffin. So I go down his arms and his shoulders as well as his wings. Um, this is a fun mini to paint, lots of inspiration out there. You can look at both lions and eagles, which is nice because there's lots of really high definition close up pictures of both animals to be found on the internet if you're looking for some color ideas. Okay, now we're going to be putting some wraith bone down for the lighter feathers around the eagle's head and ch uh, chest. I'm going to be using two different colors of off white. Wraith bone is the first. Um, not, don't be afraid to put that all over his beak and his uh, face because you're going to paint over those colors later as well as his under chest. This wraith bone is a nice off-white. It's the primary color we lay down before using contrast paints. And um, yeah, I'm going to actually take this off of the stem at this point too in the video. So I wanted to remove the base from the bottom but I accidentally broke it from the bottom of the eagle's belly. And that was a mistake, but that's okay, I'll work with it. So now I'm using Aberdeen Sunset, is my main color for the eagle's um, talons, the eagle part of the griffin. And as I said, I'm gonna come back, now that I've broken the base off, I can get access to his underbelly and hit the rest of the, uh, the lion part and the feather part easier without that uh, flyer rod in the way. All right, and then now we're gonna switch over to the beak, which is a Zemsi Desert, Zemsi Desert. That's like a chicken beak color. And at this point, this griffin is completely based in with all flat one colors, and now we're gonna layer it. But first, I think I'm gonna cut away here to drill into this griffin's uh, chest. So I'm gonna put him on, um, I'm using my drill, 3 16th inch bit, to drill out the old chest rod that was there. Uh, it's kind of tricky. I don't have a vise, so we'll just kind of try and get the angle right, hold it tight, and give it a good squeeze. Of course, my drill obstructs the view, but these minis drill quite easily. Uh, you can use a um, uh, Dremel machine if you have one. Because this is a 3 16 inch drill bit, I thought I'd just use my drill instead. See how it noodles that plastic out of there? Nice pull it out. I got most of the clear pit a bit out and I've left myself a 3 16th hole which I'm going to use this acrylic peg that I got from Green Stuff World to further mount that griffin. And this is good because the way the griffin comes in the package he's really low to the ground. I understand he's diving but geez I mean his claws are literally touching the ground and he's in this diving position. So I thought I'd mount him with this acrylic rod so that I could get a little bit more, you know, I like to have minis on the table that look like they're flying, uh, if they're flying. So there's your acrylic rods. And then this is the rock that I got from the Rocky Mountains uh, when I was traveling. 
It's got some cool uh, blue quartz in it. I said, yeah, yeah, he's going to be griffins typically live in mountains i'm going to have him coming off of a mountain so i'm kind of just staging this right now how is this rock which isn't necessarily flat going to work what's a good side to put it on which is right here that's what i liked so i realized okay this is where i'm going to drill my hole and this is where i'm going to mount my griffin and glue it all together so now using the drill I'm going to use this into this stone with this bit of quartz on it. This is a big, use a masonry bit, and I had to work at it for quite a while. That stone's very hard. You can see I'm powdering the stone. But I didn't have to get down very far, just maybe about a quarter of an inch of an indentation. I used a toothbrush to clean out the hole, and then I was able to fix the acrylic rod. So now we're going back to our base griffin, and we're going to put some Kachitan, Katachan flesh this is the darker of the browns so on his back on the feathers up to those lower feathers again this is wet uh, the bottom part rune blade is dried but you can see i don't want to go all the way to the end of the feather because i do want the bottom part of the feather that's down there to be somewhat still looking like down so down is in like the under feather so i paint and just roughly just kind of go and get my paint mostly off of my brush and then kind of just dry brush it or wet brush it on top of that those feathers so some of it goes to the tip this is just kind of a how you feel kind of way and now i'm going back to the white feathers with some deep kin flesh it's a different off white it's a little bit more white so the face and the top part of that is going to be covered in this deep kin flesh whereas the rest is wraith bone just so there's that multi-layered look so it's not just all one color and certainly not white I wouldn't want to paint those feathers white because I can't think of many things in nature that are actually white. And now we're dry brushing on some terminus stone. Terminatus. Terminatus stone, whatever. So I'm dry brushing this. It's like a, a beige color. I'm just putting it on those tips um, to try and give them a little bit more fluffy look. And there we go. Same with the bottom coming at it from all the same angle from the down up I went a little bit more on the bottom than I did the top just because I figured there'd be more showing and then proxetti white once I get those feathers in place a little bit of dry brushing I'll clip them with a little bit of proxetti just at the tips though I don't want too much and now I'm using a, co a contrast paint apothecary white this is what I said like there's not too many pure whites in nature I put two base whites down and this apothecary white goes on kind of gray and then dries and the recesses will be gray and the higher spots will retain that kind of white color um, which gives a real good crushed white look when it dries. Now I'll also touch up here with some Yariel yellow for his uh, chicken claws if you will. I'm going to hit the eagle's head, I guess that comes later, but this Yariel yellow just gives those talons a little bit of layer so that they're not just flat Avernon and Sunset, they have two-tone and same around his bill. There's the raised part of an eagle's beak, it's slightly more yellow than the beak itself, so the Yariel yellow can go on there nicely. And then I use a little bit of wet, really wet to drag it onto the beak to try and blend it, uh, just to make some like really bright white i'm sorry bright yellow lines on top of the beak color and now praxetti white dry brush just on top of these top feathers here with this praxetti white just dry brush it very um, casually on top just to make the top part of that apothecary white pop that should be good and there it is on the bottom of the feathers a little more now a bad and black for the talons again i didn't realize this but Eagles have black talons and lions have white or clear claws. So the talons of the eagle at the front of the griffin are black and at the back of the griffin where his lion paws are are going to be white or like a, I think I used um, wraith bone just to make them that off-white color. Okay, adorn yellow for the eye because eagles have those nice golden irises. And I'll hit that with a dot of black for pupil. Now for the base, you can you can use glue to glue a rock to a piece of plastic. So I did that. Um, I'm also hitting this eagle with Agrax Earthshade, which afterwards I didn't know if I liked because it was nice, the, the layering I did with the body of the lion. This just makes it look dirty. You can see the different tones. But 
I've settled on it now. I like it. Because let's be honest, again, even the cleanest lion that you find out there is not going to be perfectly clean. Just make sure you do a good job to spread this out, thin it out. Uh, don't let it pool too much. Because the last thing you want is to have these big brown blobs on the side of the lion's body. So make sure you soak up all remote little pools and just let it tint those two colors nicely. So now we've glued our acrylic rod into his chest on an angle. So he's diving from it, as you can see there. I glued with uh, with a gel, a Gorilla Glue gel. I glued the rock to the plastic base. And now I'm going to glue the acrylic rod in and then she's done. There she is, the griffin. Glued into the rock with a couple tufts to make it look like mountain grass. She's diving down. There's no, uh, here she is from the other side. There's no gloss on this. There's no, um, nothing special. No matte or any finishing. And here we can see her from the backside. Again, the dirty haunches of the tiger, or I'm sorry, of the lion worked out in my opinion. So they don't look so clean and uh, from the side again. So there she is, the Griffin from episode 43. If you liked it, leave some comments below. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time. Wash your hands, people.